Welcome back to the channel everybody. I got a little bit of a project to do here today on this uh, truck I just bought. It's a 2016 Ford F-350. It's actually about a year old. It's a carryover model that uh, sat on the lot where I work for about, well, about a year, maybe a little longer. And it never sold. It was brand new. So the uh, Ford factory incentives finally got to the point where between uh, my employee discount for being a Ford dealership employee and the factory incentives that they had on it trying to get it to sell and the trade-in of my little car that I traded off for it just made it so cheap I couldn't resist and besides my 2003 F250s getting a little bit on the rusty side so it was time to get something better that I can do a little bit of towing with here and haul some of my old tractors around so speaking of towing here's the project I'm going to install this uh, Ford factory option uh, gooseneck slash fifth wheel prep package is what it's officially called. It's essentially a gooseneck hitch or it could be a fifth wheel hitch. If you're going to use a fifth wheel plate, you use the four outer pucks to mount that. If you're going to just use the gooseneck, the center ball goes right here. And this all sets down underneath the surface of the box. It's a pretty compact and clean uh, setup really. So. Um, this truck did not come with it from the factory, so I'm going to go ahead and put the kit in. So, let's get started. So the first step is to remove the tailgate and get it right out of the way. Next I'll locate the main harness that runs throughout the pickup box for the tail lights, backup lights, things like that. And I'll disconnect it from the vehicle harness. And then unbolt the fuel filler neck and position it down inside. And the last thing to do is uh, remove all of the bolts holding the pickup box to the frame so that I can lift the box to facilitate uh, installation of the mainframe of the hitch. These pickup boxes really aren't that heavy, so this uh, light duty chain hoist with these ratchet straps going to all four tie downs is going to be plenty to get lifted off the frame. And now that the box is off of the frame, I'm going to drill the five holes through the bottom of the bed that is required for that hitch. And guys, you really only have to block the box up on the chassis on the frame to get enough room to do everything, but I prefer to take it right off. That way I know for sure I'm not going to hit any of the components that are between the frame rails. And I'll also have a lot more room to uh, place all the hitch components in here a lot easier without having to do it from within the wheel well or under the vehicle. And another nice thing about these 2016s, the factory drill hole locations have come pre-dimpled already so that it will uh, save me a lot of time over having to measure all that stuff out and center punch them by hand. So first step is to take the four and a quarter inch hole saw and drill out the hole for the center puck. Now that I've got the four and a quarter inch hole done in the center, I can take the smaller three inch hole saw and start doing the four outer holes. Okay, I've got all five of the holes drilled and deburred. Now it's time to start locating the two hitch side brackets onto the truck frame rails using the supplied hardware. This is a pretty simple install. The side brackets are labeled left and right and all the holes are pre-drilled. So you pretty much just uh, line everything up and just loosely bolt them in place for now. Got both hitch side brackets loosely in place on the frame. So now the next step is to get the main frame of the hitch put in place. And this is quite 
a substantial piece of material. It weighs in excess of 70 pounds. Seems to be pretty well built. It's quite solid, but this is where having the box off of the frame really is going to come in handy because manipulating this heavy piece of steel around is a lot easier when there's nothing else in your way. started at this time. So with all the bolts just snug enough to provide just enough clamp load for everything to kind of hold itself tentatively in position, it's time to put the box back on the frame and then I will slide this around and adjust it as needed and also adjust the box back to the cab to get everything centered to find the ideal position for all the components in which everything will be tightened down permanently. All right, I skipped all the boring details, but long story short, I got the box set back on the frame and I'm happy with the alignment of all of the pucks where they stick up through the holes that I drilled. So time to lift the box up one last time gain some clearance around the hitch and give all the fasteners the final torque. Okay, now that all the uh, hitch framework is fully torqued down, I've got the box sitting back on the frame. I've recentered it to the cab and to the hitch pucks where they stick up through the holes. So now it's time to get the box bolted back down to the chassis and Ford wants you to use new box bolts every time. Supposedly they're a one time use only. I don't know, but they included all these new bolts in the kit. So I'll get these started back in all the holes, torque them all the 59 foot pounds and then move on to the next step. Now with all the box bolts tight, I can focus on installing the trim rings around the pucks. And these can be kind of stubborn. What you want to do is kind of curl them inside out. They are quite durable, bendable. And with them kind of rolled inside out, just work them around the perimeter of the puck into the groove and then flex them back down. Finishes those out pretty nice. Now that the last of the real installation process is finished inside the box, I just have to bolt up the filler pipe, reconnect the pickup box wiring harness connector, and put the tailgate back on. Okay, so this is how this system works. Like I said, it's a pretty clean install. Everything is pretty flush with the bottom of the bed. Nothing really sticks up above uh, the tops of the ribs, so I like that. Now, if I was going to be doing fifth wheel towing, um, the fifth wheel plate would attach into the outer four pucks. Since I'm only going to be doing uh, gooseneck towing, the ball, of course, goes in the center one. And the way this works, you have these two uh, balls in here, and this top plunger is spring-loaded and when you slide the ball into the center hole you just let the spring-loaded plunger come down it pushes the detent balls out they engage with the groove that's in here and that's what keeps the ball firmly secured into the into the bottom of the truck and for the tie downs for the gooseneck they go in the front two uh, uh, puck holes right here and it just goes in, you twist it, and then this little lock comes down and holds it in place so that it cannot be removed without pulling up on the lock and twisting it out. And if I wasn't going to use any of this stuff, I can always take the ball and the two tie downs out and I have more of these covers to cover these other holes. 
So with that, I've got the truck ready to do some towing, start hauling some tractors around. Guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, following along with the install. As always, I thank you for watching. If you like what you're seeing, hit the button down below, subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate that. In the meantime, hope to see you back again.